Welcome back. We are here looking at the cryptocurrency market, and that's going to be my daily forecast for Thursday, May 27, 2021. If you like to support the channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down in your corner, hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos, and we'll start by looking at the at Bitcoin. And as you can see, we have tried to rally up towards the 200 moving average, but got really rejected there. So not a really good sign for Bitcoin here. Um, when we tested that 200 moving average, we have done it several times, but uh, today this is not a very good inverted hammer. If you look at technical indicators, they are they are turning around. So the MACD is turning around here, uh, still underneath the signal line, still bearish. Stochastic is bullish. CCI is still in bearish territory, but it's turning around, and the RSI is flat. But uh, if we get rejected here at the 200 moving average, we may go and retest the previous lows up at the 30,000. Break below that, that opens the door to 20,000 and, and uh, lower than that. So we'll most likely have a crossing of the 20 exponential and the 200 moving average, and that will not be a very good sign for Bitcoin. If you look at the weekly chart, we can see that this is also looking very, very bearish indeed. There's... Um, there's going to be a long uh, time until we have a crossing again of the of the MACD in the weekly chart, and uh, that is probably not a really good sign for Bitcoin. It is starting to look more like um, the breakdowns that we have seen in 2017, 2020, where we have all-time highs break down towards half of its value, which we also have seen now, and then rally towards half, which would be roughly 34. A thousand, um, forty-four thousand before we continue even lower. So um, that will we'll see that uh, what will happen in the next week. But this is not a very encouraging sign for Bitcoin. If we were to break about the twenty uh, two hundred moving average, then we have the twenty exponential right above, and also the middle of the bullish band. So yes, let's look at Ethereum. So Ethereum, very similar here. We uh, broke down towards the 200 moving average, found support, rallied up towards the 50 and the 20, and got rejected here. And this is also a fairly big rejection of, uh, of uh, this rally. So if we get a red candlestick here tomorrow, then we could drop back towards the 200 moving average, and then we'll most likely have a crossing of the 20 and the 50 uh, moving averages. Technical indicators there are very similar to Bitcoin. MACD is bearish, the stochastic is bullish, CCI is bearish, and the RSI is fairly bearish at this current stage. So let's look at ADA. So ADA has uh, rallied quite nicely. We have broken the middle of the bullish band, got up towards zero 1.8, and then got rejected. And now we're trading underneath the middle, uh, underneath the middle of the bullish band and the 20 exponential moving average. Technical indicators are fairly more bullish for this cryptocurrency than the other two. MACD is still in uh, bullish territory, but it's underneath the signal line, indicating bearish momentum. The stochastic is bullish, the CCI is becoming uh, bullish, and the RSI is also fairly bullish at this point. So break below the 50, that could open the door back towards $1, and then the 200 moving average at 0 0.77, and uh, break above the or basically close about the middle of the bullish band that we could head back towards $2 and also 2.2. .2. So let's look at Litecoin. So Litecoin has broken above the 200 moving average and has settled above the 200 moving average. So it may well be that we'll go back towards and test the 20 exponential up here at 233. Technical indicators they are turning around, but still they are not as bullish as they were uh, in the past. We can see the MACD is still way underneath the signal line. So casting is becoming bullish, the CCI is still bearish, and the RSI is uh, fairly bullish at this current stage. So break below the 200 moving average that could open the door back towards 119. So let's look at NEO. So NEO has also been rallying today, found support at the 200 moving average, as it's trading at 58 at this current stage. We got towards uh, 62 and then got rejected there. Technical indicators today are very similar to all the other cryptocurrencies. MACD is bear bearish, stochastic is bullish, CCI is bearish, and the RSI is bullish as well. So if you get if you break down from here, then the 200 moving average 
will most likely be support. Break below that, then we're looking at $25. And um, we have not tested the 20 exponential, and it's gonna be interesting how this reacts when we get towards there if we manage to rally up towards um, $73. So let's look at Dash. So Dash, very similar to all the others, almost the same chart. So broke below the 200 moving average and has rallied above the 200 moving average. We also broken above the previous highs from yesterday, but not the previous highs over here, which we need to in order to go higher. We got fairly rejected here and are trading at the 200 at this current stage. Technical indicators, same as all the other ones. MACD is bearish, Stochastic is bullish, CCI is bearish, and the RSI is bullish at this point. Break below the 200 moving average, opens the door back towards the previous lows here at 121. And 20 exponential will most likely also act as resistant. So let's look at Dogecoin. So Dogecoin is uh, looking uh, fairly weak. So compared to all the other cryptocurrencies, or most of them that I have covered, they have rallied, give or take, between 6 and 12% today. And uh, Dogecoin rallied and gave most of those, or part of, basically all of those gains back. And it's trading underneath the 50 moving average. And this is not a very encouraging sign for this cryptocurrency. It more, it more looks like this is going to head back to towards the previous lows at uh, 0 0.23. If you look at technical indicators, the MACD is bearish, the stochastic is fairly bullish, C um, CCI is bearish, and the RSI is flat at this current stage. So we have not seen a rally, a significant rally towards the half, which will, would be roughly 0 0.5, um, which we have seen for most of the other cryptocurrencies. So this has basically broken down, settled at the 50 moving average, and has not yet rallied. So, hope you found this helpful. You're welcome to support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button, and the bell button to see our newest videos, and good luck, and thank you very much.